Hello. In this video we're going to cover making accessible PowerPoint presentations. You should always use the built-in default tools PowerPoint provides you. Let's begin. When you start your presentation, first fill in your presentation's properties. Select File, Info. On the right you'll see a listing of properties. I suggest you fill out the title and the author name. This will allow a screen reader to describe both what the presentation is and who it's from. Next, as you fill out your content and need additional slides, it's important that you choose preset slide layouts. To do this, select New Slide, then choose the layout that best suits your content. Note that after the title slide, most slides will only require the title and content layout. However, you can change your format on a slide to slide basis. Now, I'll add some text. It's important to fill in text only in your content placeholders. If you need additional spaces for text, choose a different layout. You may also notice PowerPoint defaults to bullet style. Always utilize your tab key or your indent buttons to create a list or sublist. Let's move on to graphics, as PowerPoints are typically visual, they can often be crowded with images both meaningful and decorative. For decorative images, especially for photos that you want on every slide, you'll need to add them to the slide master so they won't be read with the other relevant content of the presentation. Go to View Slide Master. As an example, I'll add some decorative images now for images that are purely decorative. They don't need alternative text. You'll also notice that the master slides correlate with the slide layouts. Now, close the master view. For graphics that are meaningful and unique to specific slides that don't need to be included in the master slides, be sure to also include descriptive alternative text that describes the content. To do so, right-click the photo and select Edit Alternative Text. Write your text in the Description field on the right pane. To note if you're using a logo on the master slide, you must put one copy of the logo on an individual slide typically on the title slide. You can also provide alternative text for that image. Moving on to links. Unlike other formats, for PowerPoint you can only include raw URLs in your content. A linked phrase or word as a link is not keyboard accessible to those who are using assistive technology device. As raw URLs can sometimes become unsightly. You can opt to change the raw URLs to word that like website link or Facebook link as the screen reader might not identify it as link but user will understand it as a link. Let's do tables. Go to insert, table, then select the number of cells you need. Always make sure you utilize these default tools. I've often seen people make a table into an image then use it in their presentation. It can work, but this is not as effective as using the table tool. Users need to be able to read each cell of a table with their screen reader. You should notice the Table Tools tab at the top of the toolbar. Select the top row of your table. And under the Design tab, select Header Row. This allows a user to identify the main categories of information your table presents.